I'm Kathy Meadows. I lived in Bernie for 30 years. Uh, was saved when I was seven years old. Was called to missions when I was 11. I've taught in the schools here with fine arts, music for 17 years. Served as the music director for the choir for 11 years also. Directing the choir was an unexpected blessing. It was like um, a great responsibility because I was working with the people who were to take the congregation to the throne of God. It was like they became my voice and I could lift that up, you know, a hundred voices to the Lord. Mm. My voice started giving problems about three years ago and um, I couldn't sing. I didn't have the energy to sing and my symptoms kept getting worse and worse. I thought for a long time it possibly could be ALS. The doctor came out and said, you have ALS, it's fatal. Of course, that was a little bit of a shock, but I was glad to know what it was. And after a few weeks, I realized that there was a dark cloud over me. And so I prayed. I asked God to remove that. Within three hours, that prayer was answered. There's been no more clouds in my life. I saw the letters ALS, and I saw my all-loving Savior. Many people get this disease in their 30s, 40s, and 50s. I'm 75. My kids are grown. I've seen my grandkids. I've lived life to the fullest. The only regret is, of course, is that for my family. Jesus was put on the cross. An enemy gave him sour wine to drink. People are bringing me strawberry pie, you know, and everybody is encouraging me. When they would spit upon him, they hugged me instead. My flight is so much easier than what he went through. I know where I'm going. I know he is with me every moment of this journey along the way, and I can never suffer as much as he suffered for me. I love this church more than any church we've ever been. I love the choir. Keep lifting up his praise. Keep glorifying the Lord wherever you are. I feel like God has going to do powerful things to this church. In those last days, I may not be able to move. Uh, I may not be able to say a word. I don't know what it's going to be like. I won't be useless to the end. You know, I'll be able to glorify the Lord, even if it's just through my eyes. Even though I'm walking through the valley of shadow death, I'm not afraid because His Spirit and His Word is with me, and my cup overflows, and I know I'll be with Him forever.